Hi everyone. Well, today a new day, a new class, and today is going to be a fun and interesting class. Why? Because we are going to learn a little bit more about Singapore's zoo. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. You know, you know why Singapore Zoo is one of the best zoos in the world? Because it's it's a zoological uh, garden, jardín zoológico, and they take good care of the animals. And there is a beautiful place. The animals are in the right environment. Cada animal está en su ambiente adecuado, apropiado, bien cuidado, limpio. It's it's incredible. Okay, um, I would like to tell you that this zoo, um, the, when they built construyeron the zoo, the price was of nine million dollars. And they receive about one million point seven visitors each year. So now that after this, after what are we going to do? You're going to read this. First I would like you to experience what is like being in the zoo. Okay, have you ever been in the zoo? I guess so, yeah, we've been in Guayabamba Zoo. But I would like you to see this zoo, just pay attention carefully. But before we go into the zoo, we need, Singapore is a long way from Ecuador, so we need to take um, some kind of transportation. So we're going to go on a plane, right? So you ready? You ready for this adventure? It's going to be fun. and very exciting. Okay, so let's get ready. Let's go. First, we're going to board a plane to Singapore. You ready? And let me move. Okay, it's going to be super duper exciting. Okay, here we go. Here are at the airport and let's start. Let's go faster. We're going in. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Welcome aboard. They're There's some soft music. Play <laughs> is in the plane. So, here you find your seat. Okay, sit down. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Thank you very much for flying Philippine Airlines, the heart of the Filipino. Bye-bye. Oh, it's so exciting. Time to play. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Buong puso po namin kayong tinatanggap dito sa PR 502 patungong Maynila. Mabuhay. Our pilot in command is Captain Larry Pine and I was assisted by First Officer Dan. When outside the aircraft, pull down sharply the two inflation cords at the lower end.
seatbelt security fasten. We'll be coming around to assist you as we prepare for our arrival. Please refrain from removing anything from the aircraft and ensure that your cell phones are in airplane mode. Welcome to to Manila. Thank you, Doctor. This is Thank you. Okay. Bye. So, we are ready to go to the zoo. I don't know. We have to go to the zoo, right? So, we are in the Singapore. <laughs> Just like this langer monkeys here, they can only eat vegetables, like leaves, and also uh, long beans and carrots. They cannot eat fruit. Fruit uh, can cause them problems with their digestive system and cause can result in death if they eat too much fruit. Now the other one you can see is all black in color, all right? Now although they're two different colors, black and that brownish tan color, they are the same species. Uh, the black color one is actually more common, where the tan color one is a little more rare. Uh, and they do something a little unique in the primate world, a little disturbing as well. They do something called urine bathing, which is exactly what it sounds. They will urinate into their hands, rub it into their fur, especially into their tail, and also on tree branches. And this scent will walk out into the air and let each member of the troop know where everybody is. Now these guys are highly territorial, which is why we don't enter their exhibit and feed from the outside by throwing the food or using a long pole. Uh, if we were to enter the exhibit, they would consider that a threat to their territory, and they would de defend their territory violently. But if you were able to take a close look at their hands, uh, you'll notice why. They have only four fingers and one very, very, uh, fairly visible underdeveloped thumb. Black and white when they're about, uh, about two to three months of age. But when they start to change, they change very quickly. Uh, this little guy was all white, so uh, then about two months of age, he started getting some black coloration. And he... Oh, 
woman that sells stuff, this is for air. So as you can tell, polar bears, they are also very patient hunters. I hear white. Anyone else with a different answer? I hear beige, black. Anybody else? Well, the polar bear's fur is actually transparent and therefore colorless.
Whether it be a traditional medication or an uh, ornamental decoration, as the saying goes, when the buying stops, the killing can too. How holds true? If there's no market for these products, there's no reason for protesters to go out and kill these beautiful animals simply for their horns. Their survival is, of course, poaching, and that's it. Poaching. Uh, they are killed because of their horns on their nose. Now, it's believed in many cultures that this horn has certain medicinal properties used in traditional medications, also used as an aphrodisiac, and to make. Now, rhinos uh, have a reputation of being very ornery, kind of grumpy animals, will charge you with very little warning. But as you can see, they're very gentle, they'll take food right out of your hand, no problem at all. However, they do charge with very little warning. This is because. Now, unlike other big cats, or any cat for that matter, if you have a cat at home, you'll know that cats have retractable claws. Now here at the zoo we give our warthogs a ruby diet of sweet potatoes, carrots, we also give them boiled rice. Uh, today they're getting bread as a treat. They absolutely they are not very brave by themselves. Uh, if they are by themselves they'll prefer to tuck tail and run away. <laughs> now meerkat the favorite insects happens to be scorpions. Uh, they will dispatch, the dispatch that dangerous tail and then eat the scorpion at their leisure. That's how ter uh, territorial they are. And they are led by a dominant female, and the dominant female is the one that calls all the shots in the group. Now, meerkats belong to a family of animals called muscalids. Tiger, what species may any difference between the tiger? The Siberian tiger is the largest cat in the world. So imagine how big a Siberian tiger is and bigger than Tawiko, our male African lion. Jobs to do with pride. The females are the Now even the females have a very choreographed hunting party. Now what happens to that old dominant male after he has lost his pride? Chances are, he too will be dead within one year. Now maybe his wounds got infected from the fight, but usually that's not the case. He dies from starvation. Now I know what you're thinking. Haha, <laughs> serves him right. The lady. Is it hot here in Singapore? Hot, right? Yeah, hot. It's not hot here. It's hot in Africa. It is hot in Africa. I tell you right now. Yeah, you know we don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now these females have been out there today. Looking for their prey. When they finally find one, they go on this long chase, alright? They finally make the kill, they're hot, they are thirsty, they're bloody, they're exhausted, they're hungry. Do you think the ladies get to eat? Theoretically, you can shake hands with the giraffe. Now, they also get very excited during the feeding session, they start drooling. Giraffes have very green, sticky, slimy saliva. The kids go, love it. Approximately the same size. I mean, here is the salty, and here's the New Guinea. The neck, the so called post oxy, mm -hmm. just behind that plate. I mean, just look how smooth right. and grainy that is, and look at those big scales. That's what I was That's looking for. You know, when I grabbed one, I was looking for that row exactly. of, of, of skews right behind the head. Yeah. Two obvious ones you see it, but as far as the skin people are concerned, Okay, class, what do you think about Singapore's zoo? Did you enjoy it? I did. Interesting. And it's fantastic to see all the, how well um, treated the animals are. 
And one of the things that the food the people give, la comida que les dan a los animales, siempre está controlando, pueden darles cualquier cosa. O compran la comida y todo es súper bien controlado. Vieron que cada, en cada espacio había personas encargadas de cuidar el ambiente de esos animales. It was beautiful, don't you think? Did you enjoy that trip? Did you enjoy this, this journey? Did you, did you enjoy this experience? It was fantastic, I think. I would like to hear your comment. I would like to hear what you, what you, your feelings about this experience being in Singapore's zoo. Fantastic, don't you think? Okay, so for tomorrow, what are you going to do? It's you're going to write me an email. Give me some comments about the zoo. I would like you to tell me what would you like to do at the Singapore Zoo? What would you like to do at the Singapore's Zoo? Okay? And how did you experience this? Did you enjoy it? Did you like? You didn't like? It was not fun? It was bored? I want your opinion. It is important um, to me. Um, to hear what you think about this kind of experiences, okay? So what are you going to do after this video? Now that you have a very clear idea about Singapore Zoo, you're going to have a read a short information from here. Student book, page 32. Here, read this information. Okay, read this information, yeah? Here, and then, uh, inside, in this blue box, there are some words that you need to complete. After you read this, then you work on this. And if you cannot remember, just go back to the reading and fill out this information. Okay? That's all you need to do for today. Remember, page 32 is the Singapore Zoo a short reading, and then you have to work on this complete. It has to be with time, too, telling time. So you have to read carefully this information in order to answer this part. Okay, so class, that's all for today. Don't forget to give me a comment. I would like to know if you really, if you enjoy it, or if you like, dislike, okay, this experience. Okay, so it was nice to share this information with you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.